for the Bold and Beautiful show 5387 VTR 718-2008. Look, Marcus, Donna is in danger, and where the hell are you? You're here harassing me. Come on, man, you need to go and protect your mom. You're the only person she's got. Look, man, save all that crying for the judge. Marcus, I'm serious, and I'm begging you. Don't let her be the next victim. Mom? Marcus, my God, thank God you answered. What's wrong? Look, somebody tried to kill me, Marcus. I, I think it was Stephanie. Okay, so where are you at? Are you at home? Get out now. No, no, I'm, I'm okay. I'm okay. I'm in the car. The doors are locked. Okay, so, so where are you headed? I'm on my way to Big Bear. I just, I had to get out of there. Okay, look. I'm gonna find out who did this. Is she all right? Look, somebody tried to get to her, didn't they? The same way that they got to Eric. Look, Marcus, why aren't you listening to me? What is it gonna take to get through to you, man? Go and protect your mom. Go! Guard! Guard! Oh, Brooke, I'm, I'm still so terrified. Of course you are, honey. Look. Whoever it was that attacked me, they don't want me to know the truth about who drugged Eric. So you didn't get a good look at the person? No, Brooke, the, the, the lights went out. They attacked me from behind. They were wearing a ski mask. They were in black. Brooke, my God, I thought I was going to be strangled. I just can't believe that. Look, I know you don't want to believe that this was Stephanie, but I really do think it was. Look, she already threatened me when I told her that she drugged Eric. Where are you? I'm on my way to Big Bear. I just, I had to get out of there. I had to just, I had to get out of that town. Good. I'm pulling up to your house right now. What? No, 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 Brooke, look. Look, call Ridge. Don't worry, I'll be careful. Brooke. Brooke. Oh my God. Brooke! Can't even give me a hint what this is about? You'll see when you get here. Rich, don't ask any more questions. Just track down Stephanie and get over here to your father's house immediately. Bond's been posted. By whom? Hey, Lieutenant, you know how long this is gonna take, man? I'll check the paperwork, see how it's coming along. Guys, thank you. No, thanks, Steffi. She's the one to put up your bail. Marcus told me about Donna. Said we might need your help to find out who attacked her. Does anyone else know? Have you told Baker? No, not yet. Mom's gonna be in Big Brother. She's gonna be safe. Look, Owen, I don't want to implicate my grandmother. I can't just believe she poisoned my granddad or tried to kill Donna. 
Forrester Creations. You have a voice just like an angel. Anyone ever tell you that? <laughs> Earl, uh, what's going on? You, you up at the cabin? Yes, ma'am. Just got a message to open her up because Mrs. Forrester's on her way here. Listen, would you do me a favor? Give her a heads up about the bears. Are, are they still causing problems? Oh, gotten a lot worse since I saw you last. Poor critters are having a real rough go of it finding food. Make sure Mrs. Forrester knows to be extra careful. I'll be sure to let my sister know, Earl. Uh, no, no, no. The other Mrs. Forrester? Donna? She, she's headed up to Big Bear? Uh-huh. It's a good thing I got her a supply of those honey bears she liked so much when I was in town. Besides that, there's not a whole lot up here in the way of groceries. Uh, Earl, I've got to go. Uh, th thanks for calling. Well, what is so important that I had to leave the Cafe Roost with a doggy bag? You were only five minutes from here? Why do you say it like that, Logan? What's going on? What happened here? You have no idea? Why would I know? My sister just called me from the car. She said that somebody tried to kill her. Oh, my God. He here? You mean tonight? Yes, Stephanie. It was an intruder. And needless to say, she was very shaken up about it. Where's Donna now? Someplace safe. By the way, I found something. Well, those are my keys. I've been looking for them all day. Where'd you find them? They were right there in the front door. Left there by the person who attacked my sister. Get it? Honey bear. Honey bear. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I get it. All right, here you belong us. All right, so does that mean I can go? A little snafu with the paperwork, but it shouldn't take long. Being out on bond does not mean that the charges have been dropped, though. I realize that. All right. Since I'm still officially a suspect, I'd like to see what evidence that you guys have against me, besides my statement. Well, the lab reports. Can I see them? What, to exonerate yourself? I'm a legal investigator. I'd like to see if there are any details that might have been overlooked. I'll see what I can do. I did not attack your sister. Well, someone did, and my mom think it was you. Hey, let's just calm down. Let's calm down and take no, a breath here. Maybe it's time we notify the police. Let them decide. Oh, that would she be calling? Hello, Mother. Oh, Stephanie, I'm glad you answered. It's kind of late in Chicago, isn't it? I'm concerned about Pam. Why? What's going on? I spoke to her doctor. You spoke to Pam's psychiatrist? He reminded me how important it is that your sister take her medication. What are you saying, Mother? She's not taking them? I got a package from her pharmacy. Apparently, Pam didn't bother to let them know that she was in Los Angeles. Oh, well, Mother, why don't you just forward it on to me and I'll make sure she gets them. Stephanie, I don't think you're getting the picture. All right, Mother, what's the picture? When I got the package, I was a bit confused, so I looked in Pam's medicine chest. I found an identical bag full of prescription bottles. 
all full. Dated June 1st. Oh, Lord. Oh, those were her psychiatrist's exact words. So you're saying that she hasn't taken these meds for at least three months? And we know what happens when your sister goes off her meds, don't we? My God, what are you doing here, Pam? What's it look like? Look, it's a little early for Halloween, okay? For your information, there's a big hatch in the morning. And I'm going fly fishing. Well, go reel yourself in a motel room because you are not welcome in my cabin. Eric told me I could stay in the cabin anytime I wanted. I just drove a gazillion miles up a long, dark, windy mountain road. So I'm not getting back in that car. Deal with it, Donna. But I must confess. I knew you'd be here. After all we've been through, most of it unpleasant. Then a time that we sat down, just the two of us, miles away from everybody else, and just had a little heart to heart. I would really like that, Donna. And I'm hoping you will too. Tammy, it's a little late for our heart-to-heart. -heart. That's not true. It's never too late. Look at Eric. Excuse me. I need a little privacy. Hi. Hey, I heard something happened to you. Did you get up to Big Bear all right? Yes. Yes, thankfully. I mean, my God, I was so freaked out. I think I was just on autopilot. As soon as I'm released, I'm coming up there. Released? Yeah, Marcus got Steffi to post my bail. They finally realized that I'm not a murderer. I don't want you to be alone tonight. Uh, yeah, well, I I'm not. I'm, I'm with Aunt Pammy. She wants to be my friend. I don't care. I'm coming up there anyways. You need somebody else with you. Okay. It'll be good to see you. Thank God you're free. Mother, please don't worry about this. I'll talk to Pam, all right? Go to bed and try and get some sleep. Good night. This is not good news. My mother has just told me that Pam hasn't been taking her medications. For how long? About three months. What kind of meds? The kind of medication that keeps you from posing a danger to yourself and others. OK, now that doesn't sound good. No, it's not. Paperwork's done. You can leave whenever. Thank you, fellas. Got like three pages. First two of the toxicology report. Last page is an analysis of the stomach contents from the night he was admitted. Stomach contents? Anything unusual show up? It's all there. Knock yourself out. Who are you talking to? That really doesn't concern you, Pam. Radio. I'm going to go see if there's something to eat.
potassium levels, we know that. The cost, stomach contents. Not many. Lemon bars are my specialty. They're delicious. That one. You know, my mom used to make lemon bars. These are different. They've got some sort of a kick to them. What is it? Uh, no, wait, 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 wait. Nutmeg? <laughs> no, that's it. It is good. nutmeg. I'm right, right? <laughs> oh my god, the drug was in Pam's lemon bars. Bottle of ketchup and stale crackers. Yeah, I, I thought we had a caretaker. We do. Earl, lovely man. Would you like a lemon bar? Is that all you eat? Beats ketchup on crackers? Yeah, I think I'll pass. God only knows what you put in those things. Suit yourself. Missing a treat. Don't answer, Donna. Voicemail. I gotta get up there. You're obviously hungry, but you wouldn't eat one of my lemon bars to save your life, would you, Donna? What is it with you and your lemon bars? Everywhere we go, there they are. Miles away from nowhere, and out comes the container. Peace offering. What? I just wish we could get along. Here we are, sharing the cabin. We're family, sort of. Does it have to be so tense? I don't believe this. Look, you're hungry. I have food. Go ahead. Have one, Donna. It's my own special recipe. I make them with fresh picked lemons. It, it's a lot of extra work to do that, but most people really appreciate it. But not you. You don't like me, so you don't like my lemon bars. It's what I do best, Donna. Offering people a little pick-me-up with a homemade treat. But you mock me, you make catty remarks. That really hurts. Believe it or not, I have feelings, Donna. So when you insult my lemon bars... Oh my God, all right, all right. I'll have one. Donna, listen carefully. It was Pam. Pam was the one who poisoned Eric. The lemon bars. That's what she used. That's how she did it. So do not go near her. And for God's sakes, do not eat anything that she tries to give you. God, I hope you get this message in time. Look, be careful. I'm on my way. Hold on. Can you smell the lemon? I know. I know. Freshly picked. <laughs> You know what, Pammy? You're right. I don't like you, and I don't like your lemon bars. So why don't you just accept that, because it's not going to change. You don't have to be so mean. I don't want to be friends, OK? I will never like you or trust you. We can't even talk. What do we have to talk about? You're, you're weird, Pam. You, you, you scare me. I mean, there's something a little off with you. There's no telling what, what you might do. I'm really sorry, Pam. I've, I've had a difficult day. You sure you're not hungry? Suit yourself. Pammy. Pammy, I, I didn't mean to be. Oh my God! What do you.
are you doing? Don't move. It was you. 